Hi there, my name is Taylor Coughlin, and in the last episode, we went over how to make your color pools or um, your color groups. And uh, yeah, we got that all set up nice and running. Um, but in this episode, really quickly, I just want to show you like a, uh, a like a view here that I like to make just to get my, uh, you know, stage or rig uh up and running and ready for programming so what i like to do is i like to add a uh, position preset next and i'll give myself like two rows of that and then we'll come in here uh we will do a uh a gobo group and we'll give myself like i don't know say like half there and then on the other side we will do actually no we'll, we'll do gobo all the way across and then here i like to do focus We'll go half on that one and then we'll do beam for the other one. And then uh, down here, uh, we can do, um, let's see. I mean, from here, I mean, it's really your call of what you want. Uh, we could give ourselves an all group here and give ourselves more space for uh, positions. Uh, Oh, and if I didn't mention before, you can drag these around by clicking on the gray area here. If you click on the bubble, you can like, you know, change the color of it, the little yellow dot, I mean. Uh, so you can change the color of it, make it all fancy and fun, right? Easy to see. Um, yeah, we can give myself some more position. And then, uh, yeah, this is like a good starting point for your um show file and you know you have like a lot of groups for whatever reason you can just do that and yeah it's really flexible really make it how you want but this is typically like my go-to for uh, making my programming page and uh don't forget to back up your shows and yeah that's all for this one and we'll see you in the next one